friends, well, this is Andy here back at Warwick, Germany, and today I have the pleasure of showing you the all-new Warwick Rock Bass Fortress. The instrument has been completely overhauled and revamped. There's a lot of great improvements in the sound playability and longevity. We'll dive into the specs and then we'll hear some sound examples. Let's go. The fortress body shape goes back a long time in Warwick history. It's a favorite of mine. And this particular one is finished in this burgundy red transparent over ash. The entire range of rock bass instruments actually have been reworked in a way that the body shape, the contouring, the curves, the sanding, everything about them is much more sexy than it's ever been before. This five string fortress being ash is actually a lot lighter than I ever remember them being before. So the wood that they're using is considerably lighter than in the past. One of the first things that I noticed when I picked up this instrument is how amazing the neck feels. That can be attributed to three new things, three things that have never been used on the rock bass line before. First of all, it now has the IFT, the invisible fretwork technology, and it has rounded ball end frets, and the fret material itself is different. It's now a titanium brass alloy, and it will retain its crown for longer, and it will never tarnish. The neck itself is a laminated maple neck with three pieces, and the conga stringers coming down through. It has a wenji fingerboard, and it's on a 34-inch scale. Like all the rock bases in the past, it does carry over several things that have always been this way. One of them is the just a nut adjustable nut system, which enables you to raise and lower the string height at the nut for perfectly fine-tuned setups and the quick access truss rod cover so that if you need to make a truss rod adjustment you can just pop it off get in there and make an adjustment in a matter of seconds let's move down to the electronics and talk about the pickups the electronics and a few special things that are going on down here first of all the pickups themselves the way that they're mounted into the instrument they use machine screws to raise and lower the pickups and the machine screw is threaded into an insert which is threaded into the body. This is different than in the past. Instead of the threaded insert being pressed into the body, it is now also threaded into the body, so it will never come out. This enables you to raise and lower the pickup height, and you'll never have any problems with those inserts coming out or anything for the life of the instrument. Guaranteed. The pickups themselves are MEC Active J-Style pickups, and it has two-band active electronics. There's four controls. You have a volume control, a blend control for moving between the bridge position pickup and the neck position pickup, and it has a center indent that shows you when you're in the middle. And then you have an active bass control and an active treble control. And those are both boost and cut with a center indent that tells you when you're in the middle. One of the things that carries over from all the Warwick basses is the two-piece three-dimensional bridge system. This is an awesome bridge system, and it enables you to adjust it in all different kinds of ways. First of all, you can, of course, move the saddles forward and back for adjusting the intonation. And each individual saddle can be adjusted side to side to adjust the spacing a little bit if you want to. And then, of course, you have the ability to raise and lower it on four Four points once you get it set where you need it you just lock it in and it will never move another thing that they've done in the entire rock base range is that they now have copper shielded electronics cavities this is going to eliminate the possibility of any noise completely okay now let's get into some playing examples and i'll show you what the instrument sounds like but before we do let me tell you how we're recording the bass i'm playing through the warwick gnome ipro 600 head into a pair of gnome cabinets and we have it mic'd and the di and we're blending both signals all right for the first playing example i'm going to show you what the bridge position pickup sounds like so i have the blend control rolled all the way to the bridge pickup. I have the bass, the active bass turned up a little bit and I have the active treble cut a little bit. <laughs> For the next playing example, I'm going to move to just the neck position pickup. I have the bass turned almost all the way up and I have the active treble turned almost all the way down. All right, 
right, and now we'll go to both pickups straight up. I have the active bass cranked up a little bit and the active treble turned up a little bit as well. Okay, I'd like to demonstrate something very important for you right now, and this is in regard to the copper shielding that makes the instrument completely noiseless. Historically, with any instrument with two J-style pickups, when you switch from one pickup or the other, you will get some interference, you'll get some noise. I'm going to prove to you right now that this instrument is completely dead quiet. I'll start by having the blend control in the middle, which means both pickups are on full blast, okay? I'm going to take my hands off of the strings it's turned up so my hands are off the strings and I'm just going to turn the blend control to the all the way to the bridge pickup back to the center and all the way to the front pickup I'll do it one more time completely dead quiet in all positions that is awesome all right to summarize the rock base fortress has been completely overhauled it's been upgraded in a variety of ways ways that will improve the playability the performance the sound and the longevity the feel of the neck and the overall feel of quality in this instrument is at a higher level than ever before i think that when you try this bass you're going to be completely blown away and uh, i encourage you to go check it out when they hit the streets i hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as i've enjoyed making it if you liked the video please hit the subscribe button like and share and until next time we'll see you